What in the Sam hell was that? I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. That, my friends, was 2020. What a kick in the behind that was. Today, welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. 2021. We're going to review today Pike Creek Canadian Whiskey. Now, this stuff, very close. Very close to where I'm at. Let me give you a brief explanation as to Pike Creek. Pike Creek is a Windsor, Ontario suburb suburb Windsor Ontario suburb that is home to Hiram Walker warehouses now Hiram Walker goes way back now if you've ever been in the Windsor area down along Riverside Drive they got some pretty nice buildings down there where the old Hiram Walker distillery was and is and uh, a lot of this is brewed right there the whiskey made its celebrated return to the store shelves in 2012 when it was re-released with the previously extinct Lot 40. The Canadian release of Pike Creek is a 10 year old rye whiskey aged in white oak barrels then finished in a port then finished in port pipes. I'm not quite sure what that means, port pipes. Again, I'm new here so port pipes, somebody leave me a comment down below as to what that is. The Pike Creek expression takes the same 10 year old rye whiskey, jacks up the ABV to 42% and adds a splash of rye to the corn whiskey blend. Then instead of port pipes, it's finished in rum barrels. Rum barrel finished. It says right on the label. So, 2021, we are kicking it off with a local whiskey from just up the road from where I'm at. Pike Creek. It's open. I've had it. Hmm. Let's see what we have. Hmm. All right, obviously, you definitely smell the rye and some brown sugar. That's about all I'm getting. Maybe a little vanilla. Let's see what we got. That is good. So, what I'm getting right now is some brown sugar. Not too much rye. Obviously, I can taste the corn whiskey in it. Not a lot of bite to it. No, and you... That's lame in terms for kicking the ass from the alcohol. Wow. Now I can I can taste the brown sugar right off the bat. Uh, a little bit of spicy notes. I'm not quite sure what they are. Maybe it's a grain. And toffee. Kind of a, a little bit of a candy note in there. I might want to try that again. I can really taste the rum. So this is a 10 year old Canadian whiskey. As I said, it's finished in a rum barrel. I'm getting a rum near the end. Maybe that's the candy taste that I'm getting out of that. So this is Pike Creek Canadian whiskey finished in rum barrels, 42% alcohol. It says right on the label that Pike Creek is aged in oak casks in a non-climate controlled warehouse, exposing it to Canada's severe temperature swings. Uh, right now there's about nine inches of snow and it's minus six. Two days ago, no snow, and it was plus two. So they're not wrong. 
This creates an incredibly smooth yet complex whiskey, which is then finished in rum barrels to bring out notes of molasses and vanilla. That's exactly, exactly what this is. The molasses, I can't even talk. The molasses and the vanilla. Oh, that's good. Now this is about my third taste and the rum is really coming out near the end. Folks, this is a fantastic whiskey. If you're just getting into whiskey kind of like I am, this here, I believe, was $42 a bottle, 750 milliliter bottle. Again, about $42 at our local LCBO. And there's plenty of it there. It's not like it's hard to find. There is plenty of it there. So this video wouldn't be complete without speaking a little bit about the owner. Well, former owner, Hiram Walker. Hiram Walker was an American entrepreneur and founder of the Hiram Walker & Sons Limited Distillery in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Again, 15 minutes up the highway. Walker was born in East Douglas, Massachusetts and moved to Detroit in 1838. It would appear Mr. Walker died on January the 12th, 1899 in Detroit, Michigan. The Hiram Walker brand of alcohol, along with a bunch of other brands of alcohol, was all absorbed by a corporation called Corby, C-O-R-B-Y. Canada's distilling industry was pioneered in the 1850s by J.P. Weiser, Henry Corby, and Hiram Walker. I'm going to guess they all knew each other. Corby now owns pretty much all of this. Now back in the 1850s, when these gentlemen started their distilleries, the towns all popped up around their distilleries. Of course, they're employing the citizens of the community. Towns spring up around their distilleries, including Walkerville, Ontario, which is now part of Windsor, and still home to the Hiram Walker Manufacturing Facility. Today it also serves as the North American Center for Innovation and New Product Development, Information Technology, Procurement and Purchasing. Hiram Walker & Sons is the largest grain to glass operation in Ontario and boasts the largest distillery capacity in North America with 37 fermenters. The manufacturing process distills 180,000 liters of alcohol every 24 hours and operates 24 hours a day, 25 days a month to produce a variety of products including vodka, rum, and Canadian whiskey. 180,000 liters. 14 manufacturing warehouses currently store the 1.6 million barrels of spirits which are blended and eventually bottled on four high-speed lines using one of the 50 available bottle molds. That is a lot of alcohol. Well, there you have it. Now you have a little bit of history about J.P. Weiser, Corby, Hiram Walker. And now I can tell you, I do know that this is owned by Corby Spirits. Well, this is the first whiskey review of 2021. Fantastic whiskey. Fantastic. Definitely recommend it. Like I said, I think it was about $42. Pushing 43% off. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. I hope you all enjoyed that. I thank you all for sticking around my channel. I appreciate it very much. Those of you who have been here for a long time, thank you. Thank you very much. If you're new here, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share button. And for God's sakes, ring the bell. And you'll get notified every time I upload a video. The glass is empty. Never. Let your glass run dry. See you in the next one. Well, there you have a little history of the Hiram Walker and the Corby Corporation, as well as J.P. Weiser. I didn't know that. See, this is what happens when you read. I prefer there be pictures. And as you can see by the uh, level, it's been sampled previously.